In this video, I'm gonna show you five people that are actually making money with AI right now and how you can do the same. And these aren't just normal businesses that started using AI to start sending emails or some nonsense like that. These are businesses launched because of AI. And stick around to the end because the last idea is something that I'm personally using AI for right now to make money and literally anybody can do it. So let's jump into it. So at number one, we have Mr. PJ Ace. And PJ is an AI filmmaker says he has 125 million views and it wouldn't surprise me if all 125 of those have come in like the last four months because this guy is going crazy viral as of recently and especially with the drop of google's vo3 for video generation this guy's been going nuts but here's the thing going viral does not mean dollars it can be equated into making money but going viral itself does not mean that you're making money, but PJ definitely is. So the first video that put me onto PJ was this tweet right here where he says, I used to shoot $500,000 pharmaceutical commercials. I used $500 in VO3 credits in less than a day and basically made this pharmaceutical commercial that looks exactly like something you'd see on TV. So basically he's saying, hey, look, now it doesn't take an entire set and talent and millions of dollars worth of camera equipment and editors Literally him sitting at his desk, he can create a TV ready commercial or at least a commercial that can be posted on the internet and go viral on social media. And just the other day, he posted this video that Kalshi, which is an online betting marketplace where you can literally bet on anything, hired him to make the most unhinged NBA finals commercial possible. Let's watch this real quick. It's just absolutely chaotic. Like this whole thing, it's all made on VO3. It's all AI generated and it's nuts. To actually produce a commercial like this in real life would have taken probably millions of dollars. But I know what you're thinking, how do you actually make money on this? Or how much money is PJ making on this? PJ recently went on Greg's podcast and he basically was talking about how anybody can start making money off of becoming good at AI video. Basically, what he said on this podcast was that at minimum, if you're going to create a commercial for a company, even if AI generated, at minimum, you should be charging $5,000. Now, I'm sure PJ is making a whole lot more than that. For this specific commercial, PJ tweeted, you can make dozens of dollars from this. But he said, JK, it was paid very well and had fun making it in my underwear in two days. So I have no idea and I have no inside information, but if I had to guess, PJ probably got paid tens of thousands of dollars to create this commercial and for good reason because this commercial, let's see here, if we look at the real updated, 2.8 million views. So if they paid him, let's say $25,000, $50,000 for this to get 2.8 million impressions organically, and then I'm sure a bunch of other media companies picked this up and wrote stories on it. So the amount of organic impressions they got for what they paid PJ is well worth it. That's number one. PJ is a great example of how anybody can go and basically become an expert in AI video generation right now and start creating ads for companies. So if I wanted to get started with this, basically I would go find my favorite brand. I would spend a couple hundred dollars on VO3 credits. Yes, it's kind of expensive to get started, but that's a barrier to entry. And is it really that expensive if you're learning a new skill for a couple hundred dollars? No, not really. So go become an expert in this and then create a commercial for one of your favorite brands and just do it all permissionless. My friend Jordan always talks about permissionless projects. Literally start creating ads for companies. And right now is a special moment in time where you could put these on X or put them on Instagram and they go viral because nobody's used to seeing them yet. So all you need is to create a permissionless ad for one brand, have that go viral and your inbox is gonna be flooded with requests to make these videos for other brands. PJ said, as soon as he put out this pharmaceutical commercial, his inbox was flooded with inbounds with companies wanting him to make commercials for them. I'm sure that's how he actually got the Kalshi deal to make this commercial. So that's number one. Right now is the best time in history to become a AI video director. You no longer need all this expensive equipment and to go to school or anything like that. 
All you need is some practice. Study PJ stuff. He puts out a lot of tutorials and he has a newsletter where he puts out a bunch of instructions on how to actually make the AI videos, but you can become an expert in literally a month and start an AI video agency. So let's go on to number two, which is my good friend, Billy Howell. Now, Billy runs an agency called Stupid Simple Apps, where he'll basically build MVPs or applications for different companies and charge a handsome amount and has a team along with himself that codes these apps with AI tools like Replit and Cursor and is able to pump out these apps in a fraction of the time that we would have been able to five, 10 years ago. So Billy's company is called Stupid Simple Apps, custom apps without the complexity. They can literally pump out apps within weeks, not months. As you can see here, a one-time project fee of a custom quote and then a monthly fee of 250. So in the past, business owners, if they wanted to create their own applications, they'd have to go hire a dev agency that would cost tens of thousands of dollars and go through tons of iterations. Or if they just wanted to use off the shelf software, here's a good example, project management, $300 a month, CRM, 450, CMS, 400, that's $1,100 a month. But he can build a custom solution for you with these vibe coded softwares that are custom built for your company. And you can do it in a fraction of the time and a fraction of the cost. And so now is the best time in history that if you want to become a vibe coding expert or sort of start learning all the basics of coding so you can start building real application, AI is now making that possible. Now, Billy does have some industry specific knowledge. Most people can get vibe coded apps to about 70, 80% of the way. But in order to actually make these applications usable, you do have to have some knowledge of security and publishing and authentication, things that a normal engineer would need to know. And lucky for you, Billy went on Greg's pod and spilled all of the sauce about how he got his first project. So he basically goes to Upwork. He finds people looking for specific projects of like building automation or something like that. And then he'll say, hey, I can just build an application that does this for you. And you're looking to spend... However much, just pay me a thousand dollars and I'll build out the full application custom for you. And that's how you can get your first couple customers. That's how Billy did it. And he walks through his whole entire process here. So if you're interested in starting a AI powered dev agency, Billy's a good follow and you should watch this video. And now has never been a better time to build applications for people because you can do it so easily and so cheaply. Now let's jump in to number three. And number three hits close to home because it is my video editor, Deepak. And I'm gonna do a full other video on this later. I will show you guys everything that I'm talking about behind the scenes here, how we do all of this. But Deepak makes these videos for me. So not only does he help me with my YouTube editing, but he basically reached out to me and said, hey, look, you should be doing short form. I always knew I should be doing short form, but it takes a lot of time to sit here in front of the camera, come up with new scripts, have it all edited. So here's what we're doing. I have an AI avatar that once a day, Deepak creates a video of me, edits the whole thing, and I have all of these videos going up. So you can see this one the other day hit 57,000. Let's watch it. The first AI agent that builds complete internal apps by talking to your company's data. Here's what makes this insane. You type build it. That's my AI avatar. I wasn't sitting here recording that. So. We're living in a crazy world, so I think there's a few different ways to make money here. One is if you just wanna do this yourself, you can, if you don't wanna sit in front of the camera but you wanna become a creator, just make an AI avatar of yourself and start creating a bunch of content. Once you go viral, you can build up your whole creator business, you can start doing brand integrations, you can also start doing UGC content. So you can work with brands and say like, hey, I'll make you all of these UGC videos. All you need is to record yourself a few times to make your AI avatar. And you can make unlimited UGC content for them with your AI avatar. And then the other way is just to do what Deepak's doing. So come to someone like me, come to a content creator and basically build out their AI avatar for them and pump out all the content for them. So if someone's doing a ton of long form and they don't have the time to do short form, someone like me, this is a great business to start or someone that wants to start doing video content and just doesn't have the time like a lot of business owners you can basically say hey for x dollars i can put out 20 short form videos of you every month and scale all of your content without you lifting a finger that's an offer that i think is going to crush so ai avatars 
This is big. If you want to check this out, go follow me on TikTok. Also, Instagram. Instagram has not hit as well as TikTok has yet, but it's starting to grow. This one got 853 views, but this is a big opportunity right now. If we look at Rowan Chung, who's the founder of the Rundown AI, one of the biggest AI newsletters, all of these are his AI avatar. So he's pumping these out, 170 likes, 2,500 likes. Let's see views. 4,000 views, 240,000, 90,000. And this is all just his AI avatar. He's not recording these. He recorded once and he has a team that puts together these videos behind the scenes. Now, you could basically say, hey, what Rowan's team does for him, I'm gonna productize that and do for other creators that wanna put out a lot of content. Big opportunity right now because AI is just getting better every single day. And so are these AI avatars. Now coming in at number four is from a tweet that I had about a week or two ago that went absolutely viral. And I basically was scrolling Reddit one day and saw this post from someone that said, just closed a $35,000 deal with a law firm. Excited to write today that I closed one of my biggest AI deals yet, a $35,000 deal with a mid-sized law firm to build and deploy fully private AI setup using Llama. So basically he's building an internal chat GPT system for a law firm because they can't be sending their clients paperwork or their clients information out to OpenAI or out to Claude. There's a lot of privacy laws. They need that internally. So they hired him, paid him $35,000 to set up an internal ChatGPT for their law office following any privacy requirements that are needed. And this blew up. There's a lot of people talking about how to do things with this, that he basically charged too little. And I think that's a great thing. That means that this is extremely valuable and he should have been charging more. And if you're watching this, go check out my video that I had with him where I basically interviewed him about how he's setting all of this up. And setting up the ChatGPT for the law office is just the tip of the iceberg with his business. He's going to tons of different local businesses and law offices and you name it and finding ways that he can help them optimize or automate things with AI. So he gave the example of replacing receptionists with AI, basically having someone on the phone that can constantly answer it when no one's around, setting up chatbots on people's websites so that there's always someone to answer questions. There's tons of automations that can be done within local businesses. And my friend Thomas here is a great example of how to do that. So check out this interview that I had with him. Go check out the tweet. He's ecosystems on X. And he's just a great example of someone that's actually taking initiative right now, going to talk to businesses and building these AI automations for them because everyone wants to start using AI, but most people just don't know how to. And now finally, number five, the last one that I have for you is actually something that I'm doing. And I think it's a pretty creative way to use AI to actually start a business. So if you're not familiar with some of my content, I got my start and I still heavily work in the newsletter industry. So writing newsletters, I own newsletters, I help people sell ads in newsletters. And one of the things that I'm currently helping one of my friends with who owns a large community is writing their internal newsletter. So the newsletter that goes out to all of their internal members, as well as any leads that they have. So anyone that's ever interacted with them or anyone that they want to basically have brand awareness to, I'm helping them with their newsletter and here's the idea. So it's a weekly interview with their members and you could do this however you could do with their customers, you could do with interesting people in their industry. And basically what we do is we set up a call and I have about 10 questions that I walk through for 30 minutes. We use spinach.ai and there's a hundred different call recorders out there. So spinach AI is just the one that I use. I found that it's really good at summarizing and records the entire meeting. There's Firefly, there's you name it, granola, there's a ton of different AI meeting recorders. Spinach is just the one that I've been using. And basically I just have my AI note taker sitting on the meeting and record all of the answers to these calls. So I'm doing interviews, having everything recorded and throwing it all in AI and having one of my teammates basically condense it all into a newsletter that we can then send out. So doing customer interviews, doing client interviews, doing community member interviews or lead interviews or industry leader interviews, these AI tools that can sit in on the meetings and basically be your receptionist or your assistant is a game changer. And so I think you could package this up exactly what I'm doing and go out to a bunch of businesses and say, hey, let me write your newsletter for you. Every week, I'm going to interview one of your customers or someone in your industry, and I'm gonna do a full write-up of the interview and all of their answers to questions 
in your weekly newsletter. And back in the day, this would have taken so much time because you would have had to interview them, go through your notes, hire a writer, or write out the whole thing yourself. This just takes 30 minutes of my time going through the questions, using AI afterwards, and you have a full newsletter built out, all custom, exactly how you want it. Now you could train ChatGPT or Claude to basically take that transcript every single time and turn it into the same exact template. The possibilities are endless. Go into Sora, create your images for the actual newsletter, and bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a business. Now you could charge, I'd say a couple hundred to a thousand dollars a month to run their newsletter like this, and they'll easily pay it because they know their email is important. They know they should have a newsletter. They just don't have time and they don't know what to write it about. And that's where someone like you could come in and do this service for them. So that's all I got today. If you like these ideas, drop a comment. Or if you have any other ideas of people making money with AI right now, I want to hear about them. So drop them in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you. And...